thanks again for having us talk to you today. Beth and I were talking and not many school districts give us an opportunity to talk to the Board of Education and it's a great blessing that this district learns about transportation, learns about food service. So thank you very much for giving us that opportunity. Um, we're going to talk about transportation in a snapshot, kind of the stats, routes and runs, our staff, our sites and miles, our buses, a grant that just uh, happened in this year with, for the district, first time rider event that we held this summer, a job fair, and then you can ask your questions. So as you know, our district's 119 square miles, and I always like to say that it could be raining on the north side and sunny on the east side. Our district's a very diverse transportation area. Today we had a gas leak on one side of the district, an accident on the other side of the district, and we're trying to move all those buses around. And with our staff at transportation, they do a very good job. And with our GPS, it kind of helps us maneuver those buses. Total miles we drove last year was 2,764,000 uh, miles. We, our enrollment this year is 21,647. Uh, districts eligible to ride in the districts 18,000, special education 962, and non-public, which is charter and private schools, uh, 1,583. We have 170 full-time routes that go out every day, and a route consists of runs. So there could be three runs that a regular driver would have, which would be a high school, middle school, elementary, and then the evening it would be a high school, middle school, elementary. So there'd be six runs for that one route. So runs, we do 1,183 a day. Public schools, we do 612 runs. We do 262 special education runs. We do 44 uh, non-public charter runs. We do 221 middle of the day runs. Those are taking kids to jobs, taking kids to school that don't go in at regular time, moving them around the district. We do a lot of uh, Southwestern Career Academy, um, travels outside the district for their classes. So we're doing a lot of those throughout the day. That's also overflows. That's also going to alternative sites. And our bus stops daily is 16,345 times that we're stopping that bus, that we're turning on the yellow lights and we're stopping the red lights and we're making sure that it's safe for the kids to, to either load the bus or unload the bus. We have 170 bus drivers. We have 41 bus aides that go with uh, the special needs runs. We have eight mechanics, four clerical staff, three routers, and 22 sub bus drivers. Um, you know that we go to 31 schools in our district, but what people generally don't know is that we're doing seven preschools on top of that. We're doing an inclusive preschool, which is Head Start. So if they have an IEP, we then provide transportation. So we take them to school. Um, we go to 17 outside schools for special education. That would be A.G. Bell. That would be Ohio School for the Blind, Ohio School for the Deaf, schools like that. We go to um, 15 charter schools. We go to eight private schools. And number of students transported in an average is about 14,154 kids. And we're driving 15,637 miles per day in one 12-hour day. We have seven mechanics, and our mechanics do a fantastic job keeping our fleet going. We have one parts who I have always said publicly he is a star of our department. If you go upstairs, it's a Napa store. He's got everything categorized. Um, he knows where everything is, and he's got history with him. He knows the what's gone on in the district. He knows the vendors that come in. Uh, he, he is a, a star to us. We have 197 buses for the average year of eight. We have... Um, our 170 buses, the average age of that bus is seven. And thanks to the Board of Education for, and the PA purchase, um, for PI for giving us the 12 buses that we just purchased in January. So I appreciate that. The work orders uh, that they completed last year were about 3,670. And those are changing radiators, changing tires, doing mufflers, doing whatever. And on top of that, that doesn't include getting ready for annual inspection, getting rid of the rust and, and getting our fleet ready for next school year. We received um, the Diesel Emission Reduction Grant, hyphenated DIRGE, um, awarded Southwestern City School $902,131 for 21 buses. Some of you may remember back in 2008 and 9, we got a grant and we put some filters on our buses that were older. This is completing that project. 
So all of our buses by the end of this project will be clean. In 2010, the federal government came out with regulations that you had to have a certain emission on your bus. So it used to be, and I'm sure you guys remember seeing school buses that had black smoke coming out of them. That no longer happens. There, it's clear smoke, it's white, it's very safe. Um, buses will be replaced by taking them completely out of service, which means nobody can purchase those buses. We will have to drill a hole in the engine block and give them to the scrapyard. So nobody will ever be using those bad emission buses. Uh, the grant is estimated to remove 137 tons of air pollutants in the Ohio counties annually. So that's good for the environment and good for our kids. I'm pretty passionate about communicating with, with people. I love for them to know how safe our transportation is. The National Highway Transportation Safety Board says that we're the safest mode of transportation. And as you know, anytime there's an incident in school buses, there's attention to it. So we, we are cautious and also I want to tell parents how safe we are. So we held a first time rider event, one at Central Crossing and one at Westland, and we had a great turnout. And um, we actually had an information tent that, that they would go to. We could answer any questions they have. A lot of the questions was about kindergarten and, and how do you release them? How, who's going to be there for their, for their student? So we talk about that we want a parent there, that you have to be there or we'll take them back to school, and then the parent picks them up. Uh, we introduce them to the conventional buses, the transit. If you see the line of buses in that top right picture, we had a, a bus where I was on it, and I talked to every single parent, and I told them about the training the drivers have. I tell them about the high back seats. I tell them why there's not seat belts in a school bus. I tell them about the emergency exits. I tell them if they sit with their back to back, seat to seat, and feet near the floor, they'll never be in trouble. They sit the correct way. So we talk about minimizing the rules, and we let the parents ask us questions at the end. And that, when they're done with my group, they actually get to go out the back doors. We bring steps and they actually do an emergency exit. And then we review how to ride the bus correctly. We uh, just said we talked about the safety equipment, the emergency exits, the high back seats. But if you see that picture on the right, you see cones. That's called a danger zone around the school bus. So 10 feet out from the school bus is where it's dangerous for students. So we teach them how to get off the bus and go to a place of safety like their doorstep or like a stop sign or like a rock or someplace that is safe away from that school bus, not to stop and pick up papers so the bus driver can't see you. We show them the hand signals. One of the cool things about this, this event is we let the parents and the students ride the bus. So from Central Crossing, we took them to Bolton Crossing and they got to ride the bus and actually do a bus stop and get off with their kids and, get, and cross the street and understand where to stand and they got back on. At the end of it, we brought them back to the information tent and we gave them a certificate. And we said, congratulations, you have completed your first time rider. Now enjoy your next 13 years. So, but we had a lot of students that came that moved into our district that heard about it, that, that never rode a bus before, or never knew what we were all about. Um, I had a, a gentleman stop by who was the director of the Ohio State uh, Emergency Room who has a child in our office and, and we chatted about the safety of the school buses and the built of them and, and things that he didn't know. So it was a pretty exciting day for us and I was pretty thrilled to do it. And we're gonna continue that next year as well. Um, we did a job fair. In our industry, we're having a shortage of drivers. We seem to be doing okay, but sometimes we have to double trip. We, have, we don't have enough drivers to help us. There's times bus drivers are getting sick or they are not coming to work. So we, we are looking for bus drivers and we just held a job fair uh, Saturday, pretty successful. We are doing interviews this week. We hope to bring some in and start using them as substitute drivers um, in the near future after they do their background checks and they do their physicals and they get trained about 40 hours before they ever get on the bus. So we, we brought them to our facility. We let them speak to us. We showed them the bus. We showed them a tour of, of the school buses um, and our lot. So we hope to bring more in, and if you know anybody interested in driving a school bus, send them my way, and we'll be glad to talk to them. 